Imagine for a second you're home alone, relaxing after a long day, and from another room, you hear some small, glassy taps. Nothing out of the ordinary. You write it off as an upstairs neighbor, or the place just shifting and settling. Houses do that. Then it happens again, but a little louder and almost purposeful. Like something's trying to grab your attention. You get up to investigate and almost on cue, the tapping now shifts to a blunt thud and you know it's coming from inside your house. All the doors are locked, so there's no way someone has gotten in. You follow the sound and find yourself in front of the closed bathroom door that you know you left open. Your ear up against the door, you hear one more tap and you quickly swing the door open and you find an empty bathroom. Confused, you take a look around and find no clues as to what was making this noise. You turn to leave and you come face to face with your reflection. And almost instantly, you're paralyzed, stuck staring into your own eyes. An unseen force slams the door closed and the last thing you hear is a click of the lock on the door. And there you will stand, unable to yell or scream for help. Hello, my name is Gar and I'm a mailman for Liminals, Fictives, and Cryptids. And let's take a good hard look in the mirror and talk about this curious experience known as the Knock of Narcissus. And if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when I post. Deriving its name from the myth of Narcissus, the Greek demigod was told by a seer he would live a long life only if he never knew himself. But as a young man, unable to find love, he looked upon a still pool of water and fell madly in love with his own reflection. And depending upon what version of the myth you hear, he either drowns in this pool of water, is so distraught he dies by suicide, or starves to death unable to rip his gaze away from his own reflection. And much like Narcissus, the victims of this phenomenon become hypnotized and stupefied by their own reflections, paralyzed, unable to look away or move. But what is it? And why is it happening? The phenomenon seems to rely on catching you off guard and using your own curiosity against you almost to get you within the reflection of the mirror. The first known cases were reported happening in retirement homes where individuals were found staring into the mirror, some for hours, others days, unable to blink talk, move, or avert their gaze, the ones not found in time were found lying dead in front of the mirror. Those saved had disturbing stories. One survivor remarked that they heard unfamiliar noises and voices emanating near and sometimes from within the mirror. And once their eyes met their reflection, they simply were unable to look away staring for hours fully aware of their eyes slowly drying out, unable to scream or call for help. Interestingly enough, there does seem to be some correlations and similarities between victims. All mirrors in survivors' homes were shattered, with shards being scattered away from the mirrors, as if indicating a massive force came from behind or from within the mirror, shattering it. Whereas those who did not make it, all mirrors in the home were intact. Living victims stated that while looking into the mirror, they became aware of a presence in the home. They heard someone or something start rummaging around going through drawers and cupboards and slamming doors, looking for something, but they never saw anyone. 
With that being said, there was no sign of forced entry. The home appeared ransacked, but no items were reported missing. One victim reported that they heard the intruders speaking in a language that they did not recognize and didn't seem to be sounds or words they ever heard a person make. That part's freaky, that scares me. So what is this phenomenon? Some believe it to be completely of this world. It's possibly something that infects the brain and nervous system, which could account for why people are seeing and hearing things and being paralyzed and causing some sort of hypnosis or delusion. But autopsies found no such evidence in the bodies of the deceased. Could this possibly be some sort of paranormal event? Mirrors and reflective surfaces have a strong paranormal history. Some believe the mirror can trap the soul. That's why after someone passes away in the home, you're supposed to cover all the mirrors. Some think it can bring death. It can be used to communicate with the other side or even open doorways to other dimensions. This could possibly give some insight as to what might be happening, but there's still very little known about what it is or why it's even happening. What would the purpose be? Whatever it might be, the cases have been on the rise. Hmm. If you sleep with a mirror in your room, I suggest you cover it. I think that's for you. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. Um, I got some more videos right here for you if you wanna watch. We have the staircases in the woods or the back rooms. And if you wanna know how to support me so you can see more stuff like this, you can follow me on other platforms. The link to my TikTok and Instagram are down in my bio. Or if you're in a space to monetarily support me, I have Ko-Fi. Anything helps and it allows me to make more of these fun videos for you. Thank you so much.